and welcome everybody here in twitch chat and everybody on youtube for our next meme tier monday deck we're going to be playing a smooth investigator deck all right so this is smooth soloist now we're going to be playing two smooth soloist decks back to back here first time i've ever played this card and this is a card that i've been wanting to get to that i've been meaning to get to but i just haven't and so we're going to be playing two different smooth soloist decks seven mana three four elusive and it has a plunder trigger and that's unfortunate you don't get to just play it and get this you have to have plunder and then reduce the cost of all of your allies in your hand and your deck by two to make things a whole lot cheaper um so we're going to be doing that with and so like with smooth solace you got to have a lot of card draw right because if you're re reducing the cost of all those allies um you're going to need to be able to draw them um in order to be able to play them and we sure got a lot of card draw. All right, so it starts with Insightful Investigator, the other part of our name. Whenever we play a two-cost card, we get to draw one and give it fleeting. And we have all of these two-cost cards. Now, the thing is, is you would think that, okay, oh, we'll just make them cost zero. And then we'll play it and, you know, like, we'll draw, like, Eager Apprentice. We'll play it for zero. Then we draw a card off Investigator. It doesn't quite work that way because you are playing a zero-cost card with Apprentice. So therefore, it's not a two-cost card anymore. So you don't get to draw the additional one. But this can still, like, give us a good amount of card draw to, to help us set up the soloist. And, you know, like, we can find, you know, like, Make It Rains, Mystic Shots, Sumpworks Map, like, those kind of two cost cards still even with, even after we soloist. Soloist does, you know, would turn four drops into costing two, though. So, like, Twisted Fate, Chump Wump, another, other Insightful Investigators, these would all cost two mana afterwards then they would trigger the insightful investigator um and then we also have the cheap mechanist zevi that you know whenever we draw a card we get fleeting create another copy so we can have like lots of cards um and you know so we can have like a bunch of a bunch of things like you know maybe we draw an eager apprentice and it costs zero but then we we have two of them and so we can like play eager <laughs> apprentice for zero get two spell mana use the two spell mana on like a mystic shot um, you know, draw another card with Investigator, um, play it, play the second Eager Apprentice, refill two spell mana again. I don't know. We can do some crazy stuff. It's going to be awesome. Plus, we're a Teemo deck with a bunch of Puff Caps with Puff Cap Peddler and Chump Womp, so that's cool too. And we're a Twisted Fate deck, so that's cool too. So this, this is going to be a cool deck. Don't have like the best interaction for the opponents, and we're also pretty slow. Um, you know, we could get run over by aggro decks for sure, but it'll be fun. And that's what that's what meme tier Monday's all about. This should be a pretty fun deck to play. And so that's what we're gonna do. Alright, Fiora Shen. That's gotta be tough. Challengers, like we're we're playing things that you know we don't really want to be in combat. So So units with Challenger, that's gotta be a tough matchup. Um So I'm not not loving uh just the beginning of this. Get the investigator. It's just a good, it's a good blocker. <clears throat> Probably trades his stuff. Good. That's why. That's the card I wanted to see was Fleet Feather Tracker. I hope they have another one. Play some more trackers. Do it. Hmm. Just the, just the one. All right. I'll go clump of lumps. These woods protect their own. Okay. Peddler is good. Oh, if mushrooms could talk. What would they say? The order rewards its faith. They grow up so fast. Okay, hoping make it rain kills the tracker. Hoping. Yeah, kill the tracker. So I go. I will play my part. So I run. I run far away. Um. 
it's better. I, I kind of want to save these investigators until after. I'm going to just figure out this man. Until after I give them just tons and tons of pup caps and then make them draw into all those pup caps. Hmm. So I'm going to go chump lump. Give them a bunch more pup caps. My shield is yours. Honor dictates both our actions. Okay, so they got what twenty-seven? Not bad. Who does not know the name Laurent? Twenty-seven is not bad. I sense an imbalance. All right, and this is where we start playing our insightful investigator and try to go crazy. I'm a peddler, not a meddler. Uh, never mind. I guess we're on block there. Balance favors. Our wills align. Well, at least they're gaining nine life when they're at nineteen, so they only get to gain one life, but subterfuge, hidden clues, it's all here. How can I help? Cool. And that would mean So I went with we went the uh eager apprentice so we get the spell mana. No, we didn't kill the nine one. Targeting the nine one. Ooh, I like that. I like that twist of fate. What can that twist of fate do for us? Probably just gold card. Or not gold card, sorry, uh red card. Nature blesses her followers. I'm always up for a round or two. See, our deck can do some crazy stuff. It just, it's gonna take us a little while to get going. And the great part about these puff caps doing damage to them is that's how we can trigger plunder for the smooth soloist. So we can reliably have plunder all the time. That's also pretty awesome. Um, tell me, mask, scare me, tail, stop to die. <laughs> That's a big pup caps for life. I long for a worthy opponent. Ugh. I don't like that. I find them unworthy. That's gonna kill my twisted fate. Oh god. I'm sure it'll kill that. Basically, though, we like have to, you know, block with twisted fate. Like we'd have to get in combat with everything. Alright, you just block there, you block there, you block here, you block here. I can't keep the 3-3 three, three alive, can I? No, they're all 3 power. Ugh. Can't keep anything alive. Real. 
That's all right. As long as we're not dead, we'll always have a chance. They could draw 18 puff caps. Close. It's not bad. We could kill Fiora or Radiant Guardian. I guess Radiant Guardian does make it pretty Still difficult there? to uh, kill them with a bunch of buff caps. But Fiora also just kills all my stuff. And that would mean... I like drawing that Mystic Shot so if they go Barrier, I get to kill the Barrier. Strike without worry. The facts fall into place. Yes, Teemo. Yes, let's go, Teemo. Hope burns on. Give them even more puff caps. <laughs> Another day in the field. Yeah, we've gotten Fiora four win kills a lot. Yeah, it wasn't, wasn't that long ago the last time that we did. I don't remember exactly when, but... All right, so they're going to have 60. Good job, Timo. All right, they got 60 puff caps. And we're gonna we're gonna make them draw more cards with these investigators. Feel the sizzle. My shield is yours. Honor dictates both our actions. Um, it's probably good just to keep the even number. The truth hitches on every piece of evidence. Indeed. Take a look at this. For the glory and beauty of House Leron. Good grief. Huh. Hmm. Y'all are saying do it with the smooth soloist. The pro so like the smooth soloist turns these into zero mana. But then, so you know, like we won't get the extra cards with the investigator. Close your eyes and drift away. That's probably okay. That's what I was thinking about. Yeah, it's probably okay. Because net, yeah, now they won't be two cost cards. We won't draw extra cards now, but they will cost zero. And it'll help our chief mechanist Zevi the next turn. More for my collection. I think that's their last one of those. That was that was a really good last card to have. Kills the investigator, gains him five life. That was a really good last card to have. Happy to do whatever's needed. I wanted to have that other investigator in place, so I play this one and we would draw a card. Okay, so wait, so we play this smooth soloist. And now the the Zevi costs two. Right? So we go here for zero. Hidden clues. It's all here. Zevi's a two drop, draw card. Okay. Okay. Let's go. Are you kidding me? Oh man. 
this is kind of cool. Okay, wait, what can we do? <laughs> uh, this is pretty sweet. Uh, red card? Never lost a fair the problem is, yeah, now these are like Twisted Fate pick a cards. I don't know, is that even a problem? We draw three at the beginning of the next turn. Looks like trouble. Now, like they they block with Fiora. <sighs> Give them a Fiora kill. Maybe I can't give them a Fiora kill. Or, yeah. Okay, actually, here. Let's do this. Mm. But another... Hmm. Nah, I don't, I don't want them drawing a card. I don't just make smiling. We're just gonna attack with everything. Let's just let's just attack with everything. Can you stomach this? Mm, a delicious challenge. Immediately. Puts them down to four. Understood. Puts them down to five. I didn't want them drawing like a protection spell or something. Alright, so Fiora. Oh, Twist of Fate's not dead anymore. Hmm. How many cards do I have? I have 13. Alright, that was probably that was probably unnecessary. I guess I should do this first. Maybe with those excellent specs, eh? Only one. I wish I had two mana for... I wouldn't have had two mana for Citrus Courier anyway. Alright, come on. Draw four puff caps. More equipment for the field. To double trouble. Three? That's not four. It must be done. Sucks <laughs> <laughs> oh, pretty silly. I'm really glad we got this gotcha. Your pardon. Those are two mana gotchas. They're just gonna draw us more car- Oh no no, cool, my investigator's gone. Okay, good. Oh no, I didn't let's play more things. Outplayed. That was pretty awesome. So what I was gonna do there, um That was pretty awesome. Like that was crazy. I didn't think we were gonna be winning that. We did some crazy stuff there. What I was gonna do that last turn is I was gonna, you know, we had the five spots. I was gonna play the the clump of lumps that all cost zero mana. I was just gonna play them on top of each other and just create three uh, more mushroom clouds. And then I was going to play the Teemo on top of that, and I was going to be able to cast, um, you know, five Mushroom Clouds uh, and, you know, trigger the Puff Cap Peddler each time. Dude, that was... The comeback was real. The comeback was real. This is what Meme Tier Monday is all about. That was awesome. Yeah, yeah I can't believe we won that game either. Uh, what's, I don't know the best deck for climbing. I guess right now it's probably it's got to be the Noxus deck, I suppose. It's got to be that. Um, I'm just mulligan that too. It's not like a bad card, but it's not anything we need. <clears throat> Peddler, that's what we need. Because we want to try to get, you know, like the deep deck is trying to obliterate all their cards in their deck. So we're going to be trying to give them a bunch of mushrooms. 
after they um, called toss, toss the cards. Not necessarily obliterate, I guess. Toss. Okay, I like it. Another peddler. Um. Okay, cool. I don't want the peddler to take, you know, like, I don't want the peddler to die. They could have, like, Maokai make the, the two ones, the challenge. They could do the two damage to the peddler. I was hoping with using that two one as bait that they would block the two one. The rot must be cut away. Mm. Well, there was a little fella asking for me. I'm going to be using both Mystic Shot and Gotcha. On that thing. No! Well, that was my bad. Got rid of one puff cap with those three cards. Yuck. I guess that's why I should have played them both at the same time. I didn't I didn't think about Maokai's sap magic. Should have played them both at the same time. Ever stop me? All that glitters. Hmm. So next turn we'll have seven mana. It's good citrus courier mana. So maybe I should be playing Sumpark's map to be able to hit for like three twice. Yeah, I mean, it'd be nice to play the Puff Caps after their cards are low. I wanted to get rid of the Maokai, but that was, that just didn't work. They are obliterating a lot of my Puff Caps. All right, that one only got rid of one. That tossed five puff caps. <sighs> Citrus Courier heals things, but doesn't really make the most sense to play. Let's just go with the Zevi. Vessel small, but she ain't lacking courage. I'd like to go Sunberg's map on the Zevi. More equipment for the field. Ooh, I like double Mega Rain. All right, how how close is this Maokai now? This Maokai's got to be super close to leveling up. I hope we can kill it first. Come on, be at like 18. 
here we go. That's not. It's too close. Uh, that's kind of bad for me. We got this mega rain just a little bit earlier. Um. I guess playing both Mega Rains like that Here's a big one. <clears throat> doesn't make the most sense. Maybe with those specs, eh? Should play them separately, not at the same time. Okay, we got 11 cards, 18 puff caps. We have an elusive Chief Mechanist Zevi. Drew zero puff caps? Come on. No. They draw zero puff caps. Together at last. And that would mean. Well, this went really well for them. Subterfuge, hidden clues, it's all here. Maybe I could have killed that Maokai earlier. Draw five. Not five. Just one. Man, they really did not draw many pumpkins. I feel like I could have probably won that game. I would like go back and replay it, all of it. I mean, the, the, I guess the biggest thing was how I did Mystic Shot on one turn, then untap Gotcha, because then they just had they had like the the card to keep it alive. But it was it was Maokai Sat Magic. Like even if even if I would have done them both at the same time, they would have just hard cast Maokai, so like it would have cost them one extra mana, and they would have just replayed Maokai. So I don't. I'm not sure if that, but then that would also gotten rid of a Maokai from their deck. I think I should have red carded. Yeah, red red card red card would have got rid of Maokai and the two one challenger. Gold card got rid of the three two. The three two you know had the life steal and was going to be able to challenge the peddler. Um, but then yeah, my twisted fate would have stayed alive. Yeah, that's that's probably the play I needed to do. I probably needed to red card. I agree, red card was probably better. Uh, instead of casting make it rains you think I should have gone I could have mapped Zevi and then and then orange man maybe I yeah that could have been a good chance to do that Instead of all those make when they played the Nautilus and had all that stuff, I could have maybe gone for a kill. I didn't really consider that line. That could have been a line too. That was a tough game. That was a tough game with tough as in lots and lots of different decisions to make, um, and not not easy decisions. I guess that's usually what tough means. Have a mushroom. Have three. Hot on the trail. A 
looks like they have calling strike. Not working out. Okay, I like that. Happy to do whatever Puff Cat Peddler, of course, not the 5-5. Five five. The trap is set. Hmm. Oh, if mushrooms could talk. I'm through waiting. Five six. Could be better. I would love to play team. Why do I have to have Teemo like now? I could have Teemo like the last turn, but I definitely play Teemo. These old eyes still see far and clear. That doesn't make sense to attack. Behind you, a Yeti! Yetis? There's no such I hope they just drew the one mana Yeti that they were going to draw anyway. I hope that's what they drew with the um, Babbling Bjerg. These stories were true. Um. Hmm. I'm going to have to block with Teemo, aren't I? I don't think this is a good investigator play. No, we can't block with Teemo. I guess it's investigator play. I don't think it's a good one though, because I don't have the mana for this stuff. Darn, that was like a that was a bad card to draw also. Because that's a useful card that we're not gonna be able to play now. I will unite the failure. Man, that's rough. And they, they may have like just drawn into that ash off this investigator. Start drawing more puff caps. <laughs> Another day in the field. I did my best. Just half the third calling strike. They didn't even. Double trouble. At least, at least we triggered plunder. Lose 
faster than my arrow? This has not gone very well for me, though. Again, that's yeah, that's two turns in a row that we just didn't get to play our cards. Not trigger plunder this time. Sit back down. don't need the cost to be reduced by two. Line up. Come on, draw those puff caps. They only have 18. Hey, Silent Eric. So many things really, really work out for them this game. A bunch of things line up perfectly. But, so that was a frustrating game. You should stay. Sit back down. I wish I could. I mean, I, ha I have to block that sentry and, and kill it and have them draw another card. But I can't. Yeah, the three colings was stupid. I wish, I mean, I didn't know I was going to have, like, the Mystic shot right there. Of course, like, that that was really unlucky. I wish I didn't play that Veteran Investigator. You know, I wish I would have just played the Teemo and just blocked with the Teemo. I didn't know they'd have a calling strike for it. That would have, that would have set me up better. That I think that Investigator, like, really helped them out. You know, got rid of my Mystic shots that I couldn't play. That would have been great to just draw the Mystic shot the next turn. So many things just really won't went their way, but oh well. Uh, let's see. We'll Teemo Jinx. That means a burn deck. This is gonna be. This is gonna be bad. Yeah, still, still a fun game, but uh, burn probably gonna be a bad matchup. Yeah, like we're we're a slow deck. We're probably not going to be too good against Burn. This deck's been a lot of fun to play, though. Like the Both of our losses felt like they could have been wins with either, you know, different moves by me, um, some cards kind of lining up a little bit differently. It certainly felt like they could have been wins. Like it, I feel like we're a 1-2 that's just a... Um, you know, just an inch away from a 3-0. That's what it feels like. No yeah, we did that the first, the first game. Never lost a fair game. Or played one. First game, we we got to go crazy. I'll take that. That's a that's a mystic shot that's not going upstairs. Gotta love one three boom crew rookie. Have a mushroom. Have three. Have three. That's so many mushrooms. Remember the objective. The few for the many. Run away, fight! Your path ends here. I 
guess transfusion. Oh, brother's bond? Don't play Eager Apprentice, but it's worth it. Don't mind me. Excuse you. I don't know, maybe I should be going Zevi. Yeah, I think I think I think we're playing against a newer player that is not as familiar with the intricacies of burn. That's okay. You know, you gotta learn. They are caring too much about trading and not enough about damage to the Nexus. All right, so next turn, you know, we'll have eight mana next turn. It's potential that we could play Zevi and Courier if they, you know, if they draw another pup cap and we can uh, have the plunder available for the Courier. Otherwise, I can just Mystic Shot them and play Courier if we want. Perfect. Perfect for Citrus Courier. Let's go. Uh, so I should probably make sure that I don't die. So I guess I gotta play that first. Okay, we defeated Burn, but probably shouldn't have. If they would have just had the Mystic Shot and the Noxion Fervor, both of those go upstairs. We may have died. I guess I would have. I would not have played the Smooth Soloist though. I would have played the. Um, I would have played the Citrus Courier. Previously. So maybe not. Maybe we still would have been fine. I don't know. Would have been a lot closer. Um. Gone. Gone. Is that Shen? Cool. Mystic Shot can take out Zed. What this is my Zed Shen deck. These woods protect their own. Yeah, we just played Zed Shen yesterday. Just went up on YouTube um, about three and a half hours ago. I wonder if that's the stack. Oh, this is my job right here, great, great heaven. That's what I'm doing every day. Timo. All right, so no, no Zed. Had to save Mystic Shot just in case. Um, I got ways to find me in mushrooms. Hey, 
So each one of these is eight mushrooms. Or eight puff caps. I could have gone Sumpworks map on... Yeah, I would have gone on Peddler, because I, I don't want Peddler in combat as much. I would have gone that instead of the Chump Womp, but... <clears throat> Just waiting. Just waiting. Deal me in. Let's go red card. Who says I don't share? I have a lot of mana to protect the Zed this time. They didn't have the mana to protect Zed last time. But they took turn three off. So now they do. Feel the sizzle. So that's bad. Intruders. I'm sure y'all could figure out that that was bad, though. No one goes hungry. My expert opinion. I'm a peddler, not a meddler. Charmed, I'm sure. Puts me down to one. I mean, I go to like five, and then they, they have a three, four, or I go to one. Excuse you. Gotta trust your instincts. You're bluffing. Let's go with that. <clears throat> yeah, we're like my opponent. We, us. I, I mean, yeah, both both of these decks are basically mid range decks. Uh, we're more of like a combo deck, I suppose, or a control deck. I guess we're closer to that end of the spectrum. So I want to make it rain to try to take out this 3-1, but the problem with, with doing that is I don't have, like, the best other plays. I mean, Teemo, yes. Hey, a deep tree. Getting that reset for an entire year. 12 awesome months. Thank you so much, deep tree. Third sub of the day. Y'all get some hype votes in the chat for our resub. Um, 17. Yeah, I think, I think I'm going investigator. Up next. <laughs> they do zero puff caps? Come on. There's one. You should have stayed away. You cannot escape your past. Surrender to the melody. I find them unworthy. Do not deny me. I'm a peddler, not a meddler. Down to one. So that, that was definitely our most legit loss. Uh, the, the first two losses, I certainly feel like I could have won, uh, especially the first one, against, especially our first loss against the deep deck. I, I definitely could have won that with, with different plays. And even the other one, I don't know. Things worked, worked out pretty well for them. This was a legit fun deck to play. 
and definitely felt pretty strong got to do some crazy stuff in here um so yeah if you you know if you like doing some crazy stuff i recommend giving this deck a try um the sumperks map I, don't know, I guess we we did have like the opportunity to try to hit for lethal with that i really liked the gotcha and i want kind of want a third gotcha because that that card looked really good um but uh yeah this this deck was was a lot of fun you know we got to do our investigator uh stuff we got smooth soloist a couple of times and then just like you know if you can just stay alive your puff caps are going to take over then also your elusives you know like smooth soloist being the elusive same with timo and i guess you have the one sumperks map to help in there um went went really well uh <clears throat> yeah team goes all shucks um yeah so that's that's the first smooth soloist deck i'd have to say a meme tier monday success um you know that's why you can't really just look at the records like some people will just you know see oh two and three you know that deck's not good but no like the, the, the deck uh the deck was good and it was a ton of fun to play and hope hope y'all got to see that first game in particular. That game was real crazy. That comeback that we had there, that first game was awesome. All right, uh, those of y'all watching later on YouTube, hit that like button over there. And if you got any other smooth soloist decks or any any meme tier Monday decks, any ideas for meme tier Monday, feel free to leave them over there in the comment section. I'd appreciate that. But anyway, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you for the next video.